Hey Scorpios, this is Aquila for your monthly reading for the month of November 2014. First off, I want to say happy birthday to all my Scorpios out there. Happy big birthdays, happy belated birthdays. Um, I know it's been tough, so let's get into the reading. The first card that I got for Scorpio for the month of November is focus intention so this card basically says keep your unwavering thoughts feelings and actions focus on your target and you will make your mark okay Scorpios it's birthday season for you guys this card is a very big card do you see this woman she's focused she's dedicated she's ready for a fight she's ready to keep it 101 101 crazy right now and she's going after what is is what it is that she wants you're a Scorpio out there that has been trying to get what you want. This is the month for you, Scorpio. We have in the beginning of the month a full moon in Taurus. And this is going to be in the sector for you that has to deal with partnerships, marriage. Any type of partnership that you have, whether it be a friend, whether it be a lover, whether it be your, your partner, your, lo um, your, your husband, your wife... Whoever it is that you're with right now or who you want to be, there's going to be a full moon in that sector. And anytime there's a full moon in that sector, Scorpio, that means it's an ending and beginning. So you're going to be thinking differently or probably seeing things differently in this department. And I think a lot of Scorpios out there have been. A lot of my clients that I do reading for are Scorpios. And they're very much concerned right now with their love department as well as their finances and their um, career sector. Because it is it is really a big issue with a lot of people. But I'm here to tell you with this full moon in Taurus on the eight, on the 6th of November, you're definitely going to be feeling different. Also last month there was a solar eclipse uh, the moon moved into your sign. The sun moves into your sign on the 23rd of October. So there was definitely a big change in um, the way that things were progressing in your life. Or maybe there was an awakening when full moons happen or an eclipse has happened. It basically sets a path for the next six months to two years of your life. So basically whatever you were doing, whatever you've been thinking about, the month of October was a month of reflection. The month of November is a month of action. It's, it's, it's with, and especially with Mercury entering into Scorpio on the 8th of, of November, that means your communication is going to be straight to the T, direct like a Scorpio. You're going to keep it 100. You're going to be there like trying to find out the truth, like a detective. And it is really the month for you to go and have fun and be be happy this month, Scorpio, because there's been a lot going on. Also too, for you, Scorpio, um, we have, um, Neptune going direct in Pisces and that's going to be on the 13th so Neptune going direct in Pisces for you that's your fifth house of creativity sex and pleasure now Neptune is the, the the planet of illusion and dreams and beautiful things that we would love to have in our fantasies come true and that's been that's been <laughs> That's been going retrograde for a while, so maybe uh, the sex department or maybe your creative uh, your creative side, the, the, the part of you that gets to express your pleasure and your fun has not probably been out. With Neptune going direct in Pisces, this is going to help. This is going to make your realities become your dreams. Finally, we get to be back in the fam uh, in the in the fantasy world of dreaming what it is that we want in certain areas. And this area for you is going to be your creativity and your sex, your pleasure. Um, you're definitely going to be feeling that uh, your imagination is probably going to be back and even kicking a little bit quicker than it usually does. The second card that I got for Scorpio for your birthday month is Independence, and this card is directing towards. I feel the Venus moving into Sagittarius. Venus is the planet of love and pleasure. Um, Venus is moving into Sagittarius, which is going to be in the area of your possessions, your money, your things that you own, things that you have. And this card is symbolizing independence. And this card says your independence is the foundation of your strength and your success. People, Scorpios, you're known for that. Your tough nut job, just going straight in and being intense and being independent, even though things may not seem like they're going to be the best, but you always chuck through. With this, with Venus moving in into Sagittarius in the house of your second house of the possessions, we have the Sun entering um, into Sagittarius. Um, 
in the house of, of your possessions. We have a new moon in, on the 22nd in the house of your possession. That's your money sector. So definitely there's going to be a big change in, in your money department or the way you make money or the way that you're deciding that you're going to go about making money. Or maybe the things that you do to make money will change. You might change some type of pattern that you that you that you're that no longer that no longer serves you anymore that things that you don't like the things that you don't want to do to make your money or maybe your home might be changing you might be switching locations or being more independent maybe you might be leaving a relationship and this would be that you're going to have to change locations and that would also change your 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 space your your space the area where you're living in the third card that I got for Scorpio for the month of November is Understanding. This is a pretty cool card. Also, too, we have Mercury moving into Sagittar Sagittarius on the 27th. That's going to be in your speech. So this is definitely talking about, this is a water card. So it's all about your emotions. You're finally beginning to understand certain things that you weren't understanding before, Scorpio. Um, it's been a long journey. Saturn is still with you. Saturn is, uh, it's, in, it's almost at its tips with Scorpio. Saturn is the planet of responsibility, discipline, and hard work. It's been with you since October 2012 it's your birthday the sun it's your solar year has just begun what is your wish scorpio for november um all of those scorpios that are born in october what is your wish make that wish in the time frame that the sun is in your zodiac it's very important um that you do make this wish and the fourth and last card that i got i did an extra card for you scorpios this month because i know it's been tough and it's possibilities it's a fire card and if you notice it's the it's an eagle that's a third stage of Scorpio, um, looking at what it is that it has all around it. This is very powerful because this is basically saying exactly what it is that you're doing right now, Scorpio. You have gone through the motion. Now you're up in the sky and you're looking down at who, what, and where you're going to land. It's going to be a lot of beautiful energy. Happy solar birthday again, Scorpio. And for the month of October, I mean for the month of October and actually for the month of November, I hope that you learned a little bit more about yourself and hopefully this helps for the month of November. I'll see you in December. I'm Aquila.